Today's very brief lecture is about gold diggers. No, I'm not talking about women seeking the pocketbooks of wealthy men or gigolos. No, I'm talking about Herodotus and his book, The Histories. I came across a quote by Herodotus a while back on Classical Wisdom Weekly, which you can find. A, uh, they have a Facebook page and a website, and I suggest that you check them out. It's well worth it. The main theme was giant gold digging ants. Sounds fanciful, right? Well, behind every myth is a general truth. I think we can all agree on that. Herodotus states in his book, The Histories, Book 3, Section 102, quote, Besides these, there are Indians of another tribe who border on the city of Caspatyrus and the country of Pectica. These people dwell northward of all the rest of the Indians and follow nearly the same mode of life as the Bactrians. They are more warlike than any of the other tribes. And from them, the men are sent forth who go to procure the gold. For it is in this part of India that the sandy desert lies. Here, in this desert, there live amid the, amid the sand great ants, in size somewhat less than dogs, but bigger than foxes. The Persian king has a number of them, which have been caught by hunters in the land whereof we are speaking. Those ants make their dwellings underground, and like the Hellene ants, which they very much resemble in shape, throw up sand heaps as they burrow. Now, the sand which they throw up is full of gold. End quote. Understand that Herodotus had never been to India or anywhere nearby. One would think that even Herodotus would have been skeptical of the supposed giant gold-digging ants. However, I could be wrong. There may be truth to this story after all. No, not the giant ants, but men who may have looked like ants. They were not ants, but Sake, Scythians, Tigra Ka'ud. The name Sake Tigra Ka'ud is said to mean Sake that wore pointed caps. The name Tigra Ka'ud, if I'm pronouncing that right, is a corrupt form of the Sanskrit rendering Tigra uh, Ka'ud. When translated, Tigra Ka'ud means pointed projection, which is a metaphor for horns. In northern India, province of Kashmir, it is said that unnatural sized ants, Tigra Ka'ud, dug for gold. This proved only to be Sake wearing a horned headdress as they dug for gold and attacked anyone who intruded on them like army ants. However, this description of Sake wearing pointed hats is generic for most Sake wore pointed hats to some degree. The location of the Sake Tigra Ka'ud was east of the Caspian Sea and found between the provinces of Hyrcania and uh, Cro. Chorasmia. The Sake Tigra Ka'ud are also suggested to have been none other than the Masingeti, or Masingeti. Even though not everyone agrees that they were, however, another explanation comes from Herodotus once again. In Book 3, passages 102 to 105, Herodotus mentions that the ants in question were slightly smaller than a dog, but bigger than a fox. French Ethnologist Michael Passell suggests that the creature Herodotus called an ant was probably a Himalayan marmot that can be found on the Diose Plateau in Gilgit Bal Baltistan province in modern day Pakistan. Check it out if you get a chance. The reason for this claim is that when Passell interviews the Minaro tribe who lived on the plateau, the Minaro informed him that they, like their ancestors, had been collecting gold dust from the marmots that bring it to the surface when they are burrowing. In conclusion, the gold digging ants were either sake or marmots. While both are a possibility, the Himalayan marmot may very well be the fabled ant known for gold digging. Now, if you want something fictional on this, I'm going to just suggest something here real quick. If you wish to read a fictional uh, account about giant ants, please check out H.G. Wells' book, Empire of the Ants. I read it a few times when I was a teenager. And also, Check out the 1977 film, Empire of the Ants, if you wish. It's really not that bad. I'd seen that when I was a child. Until next time, peace out.